It's the day after the zoo. The Detroit Zoo. I had a good time though. <clears throat> it's in my voice. Ah, ah. And as you can see, my face is burnt. Look at that. That's rough. Battery's about to die. Face is burnt. Let's get the day started. I'm still kind of blown away with how burnt my head is. Holy cow. Do you see that? Man, that is red. Ooh, white. Red. Really white. Really red. Whew, toasty. It is gorgeous outside today. Um, I'm off work today. My wife is at work. She'll probably be off around 3 o'clock. Um, probably take the dog for a walk. Maybe we'll walk to the daycare to pick up my daughter. Uh, you might get to meet her for the first time. If you look at my other video, you'll see her getting her ears pierced. Please be gentle in your comments. I know that there's some trolls out there that they pray. The first video that I posted ever was a Snapchat video, and it was of my daughter getting her ears pierced before. Excuse me. <sighs> Like 13 seconds after I posted this video, there was uh, this lady on there, I don't even remember her name. She didn't have a YouTube channel, she didn't have any videos posted anywhere. Man, what the heck? Don't eat a Pop-Tart and drink orange juice for breakfast. It gives you indigestion. She wrote on my YouTube something about how I was effing disgusting as a parent to get my daughter's ears pierced and how I don't deserve to even have a daughter I don't deserve to be a parent she said something along the lines of how could any mother get her daughter's ears pierced look at her she was screaming while you were doing that really got me frustrated now here's why this frustrated me she didn't know me. She's never met me. She has no idea who I am. <laughs> Earlier, when I was recording, I was kind of all over the place. Her exact words to me on YouTube were, We are effing disgusting as parents. How could you as a father, or your wife as a mother, even have a child? Why would you bring a child into this world just to hurt her? Why would you cause her pain? It's her decision if she wants to get her ears pierced. Her comments went on to say a bunch of vulgar things, a bunch of things that I don't find appropriate. It would not be right for me to just start cussing and saying all the stuff that she was saying. I don't think it's very fair for somebody who doesn't know me to judge me and my parenting. One of the things in her comments said, I should have never been a parent. In fact, I should go kill myself. Look, I understand that that's somebody hiding behind a keyboard. It upset me because I let it get to me. If my wife and I get into an argument, which happens in marriage, you settle it and you move on with life. That's another video. Anyways, you can bash me. You can make fun of me. You can tear me down brick by brick and layer by layer. But when you talk about my wife and my child, it takes things to a whole new level. Years ago, if I would have been in this position where I had a wife and child, I don't know what I would have done. I had to find that person, I would have been on the internet cussing people out. Where the F is this person? How do I F and find you? Meet me, blah, blah, blah. I wish this person would have had a conversation with me on YouTube rather than, uh, you're F and disgusting. Why would you ever decide to be a parent? How could you hurt somebody that doesn't get to make a decision? Look at her. She's bawling her eyes out. She's crying because they put those guns in her ears and pushed. No! Calm down, have a discussion with me. That's why I was mad. But this person went from zero to a hundred real quick and they don't even know me. 
I wish this person would have not made the comments they made, of course. The point I'm trying to make is my wife got her ears pierced at six weeks old. My wife's mom, I believe, got her ears pierced very, very young. My mother's ears were pierced. My grandmother and my great-grandmother's ears were pierced. This is something that's been happening generation, generation, generation. This isn't something new that we just decided to do. If she decides when she grows up she doesn't want her ears pierced anymore, she can take them out. If she decides she wants to be uh, lesbian or straight, uh, transgender, that's her decision, whether I like it or not. I hope that my opinion matters to her, but right now, I'm the decision maker. I'm her father. I'm her dad. I don't understand where parents or other people get off on telling other parents how to parent. It's my child. Let me do it. If it's a mistake, let me make the mistake. If you don't agree with it, don't agree with it. But shut up about it. It doesn't matter what you have to say to me. If you want to have a conversation, I'm all ears. I'm willing to have a conversation with you. But don't come at me. Don't come at my family and talk about how we're disgusting and how we're terrible parents and we shouldn't even deserve to breathe the same air as you. You sat behind a keyboard. You had nothing educated to say. You had no defense in what you were saying. It was frustrating. It's my responsibility to take care of my child. If I want to get her ears pierced, I can. Make some comments below, but let's have a discussion. Let's talk about it. subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you real soon. I don't even work this freaking